Hello, today for review I've got uh, Shenling Zhu A1. It's uh, fairly simple uh, USB C digital to analog converter made in dongle style. Like last year, we've got a lot of such adapters, but recently almost all companies are trying to make them more advanced with replaceable cables, with some additional features, and of course with higher price. So Shenling decided to release two models, and UA1 is more affordable, so it's done in this uh, pigtail style, just uh, basic for those who simply wants to improve the sound of their smartphone or, I don't know, iPad Pro, for example. And also they will release UA2 with uh, replaceable cables and much more advanced features. But UA1 is done uh, to be more affordable, price is about $45, if I remember right. Uh, and uh, basically it just delivers good uh, uh, price to quality ratio, so uh, let's have a closer look. Package is simple, but even in simplest things, Shenlings try to add a bit more style. While other companies just make some matchbox-like package, Shenling created a nice uh, flap with magnet, and it looks uh, pretty good with this uh, polygraphy, with this small presentation. Well, pretty stylish, even in the unboxing experience. Inside you will have the dongle itself and a simple USB-A to USB-C adapter in case you'll need to connect it to your uh, laptop or PC. And underneath just a basic manual and warranty card. For us the most interesting that uh, here used Sabre 9218, same chip that uh, uh, Shenlink used in their recent uh, dubs, supports DSD-256 native DSD and PCM up to 384 and 32-bit, so basically good figures. And in terms of power 1.6 volts RMS for 32 ohms load or about 80 milliwatts. And all other figures are just uh, okay. So. Nice in terms of specifications. Let's remove all unnecessary stuff. And in terms of design, it's also pretty simple, small, compact, uh, done in nice metal enclosure. Black color looks attractive, nice shape. Just 3.5 millimeter connector, small LED indicator and short uh, cable to the USB-C connector. And it works really, really simple. So let's let's get uh, few M15 as a transport. Of course, it's much more sense in using it with some smartphone. But my smartphone is busy filming this review now, so I use M15 as a transport. And it will connect and instantly disconnect because it uh, tries to preserve the battery. And when there is no headphones plugged, it will just disconnect so to activate it we need to plug some headphones and in this case it will ask for connection it will connect initialized and will work here is small i don't know will it be visible on video but this green led is glowing showing that it's operational and that's it of course it consumes power from your battery but uh, uh, it's the price we pay for better sound quality. Compare it with uh, some regular dongle that uh, I got with uh, my Samsung S10 uh, I used for tests. It uh, increases the power consumption uh, by about 30%. But I think it's a good uh, price for using the advanced digital tonal converter and better sound quality. And of course about the sound, let's use this improvised setup I've created before. So Fios M15 as a transport, Shenlings UA1 as a digital tonal converter. Probably there is some kind of irony in using Fio as a transport for the Shenlings digital tonal converter, but I just don't want to swap the micro SD cards, so basically it doesn't make 
any <laughs> big sense in using exactly Shenlinks player. And as the headphones for the demonstration purpose, I will just put Noble Audio Han on the table. They definitely can show the full potential of this uh, adapter. And actually this adapter is basically the Shenlinks sound in a nutshell. So it's the simplest way to get Shenlinks signature sound. That is uh, pretty natural, but still with a hint of uh, fun coloration and a slight uh, uh, softer treble. Basically it's just a small hint, uh, but anyways this coloration is uh, still present. And uh, probably let's disc uh, talk, talk about it step by step. So bass is uh, slightly actually not even accented because there is no accent in terms of quantity. It's just a bit uh, colored with a bit of additional weight and fun. So it's sounding a bit uh, thick, but at the same time it's, you know, just slight hint. So it's just adding a bit of uh, presence and bit of uh, body to the instruments and uh, to all the to vocal. So basically it makes everything a bit more solid and uh, it puts music on more solid foundation. Of course depth is maximum and bass is really well controlled because it's uh, probably the most noticeable issue with regular smartphones output or some inexpensive dongles because it's lacking low frequencies control usually and it's a common issue with uh, uh, regular adapters or smartphone and especially it's also noticeable with uh, Bluetooth receivers because they lacking uh, deeper layers of bass and here they are present. Bass is pre absolutely universal in terms of uh, types and genres. It can be played okay with electronic music and it's good with acoustic instruments. Just keep in mind that it's not adding additional lows. So it's not trying to highlight uh, anything, it's just uh, adding a bit of uh, weight, and, but really not much. And as an example, it's uh, Musica Nuda, Guarda Celluna, their, fir their first album uh, and nice uh, contrast of the acoustic double bass and emotional female vocal. Mids are clean not accented, really resolving with a bit of highlighted emotions, with nice uh, and engaging representation and of course it's noticeable improvement over regular smartphones in terms of resolution and even more noticeable improvement uh, in terms of uh, staging because usually the biggest issue with sources that doesn't use uh, some good digital tonal converter it's uh, flat imaginary stage and actually pretty congested and uh, this adapter definitely improves depth layering it's still just slightly above average but it's a noticeable improvement and same in terms of width it's not trying to highlight the micro detailization uh, not trying to pick uh, all the issues it's uh, more or less forgiving but uh, still it requires some good master tracks and still offers a nice resolution giving you uh, new emotions new sense of realism and as an example for the mid frequencies i've got uh, uh, rival sons album hollow bones and track is black coffee actually it's uh, recorded uh, a bit in vintage 70s style, a bit thick record, a bit uh, of added dirt and some, some fuzziness added to the sound and uh, you need a good resolution to for such tracks uh, in order for them to sound uh, more resolving and um, to get the all necessary nuances and this adapter is uh, solutions that suit such purposes really well and treble treble is a bit soft and in order not uh, sounding too sharp but still offers a nice resolution and a pretty good extension so basically it's not limiting the treble extension it just it will be limited by the earphones that you will use 
and uh, layering is basic but uh, resolution is nice and overtone saturation is also pretty good and uh, as an example that I often use uh, for to demonstrate the good treble is Sting Fortress around your heart and Sting uh, tracks are always ha uh, getting uh, good percussion and this one is not an exception all that uh, tiny bells cymbals and so on they are present and this adapter re renders them pretty nicely so to summarize everything good technical uh, signature with a bit of added emotions Speaking about the comparisons, basically the only ad similar adapter in this price range I can think of is Ibasso DC02. It's uh, a bit more V-shaped, it's more highlighting low frequencies and a bit highlighting more treble. And uh, there were some other adapters that I've tested, but actually Shenling is one of the best in this uh, price range. It's a bit more resolving and natural comparing with DD Hi-Fi adapter and uh, with uh, Alpha and Delta adapter too. Difference isn't huge, but uh, still noticeable, but uh, Shenling is really good offer. Basically, you know, it's uh, pretty close in terms of sound to their uh, Q1, for example. Q1 is better, of course, but uh, signature and uh, representation is similar so basically uh, sound that is close to q1 for the 45 dollars and a really good offer from shanling for those who want uh, to improve the sound of their smartphone thank you for listening thank you for your attention and have a nice day